Good day everyone, welcome to Senior Pablo TV. And for today's tutorial video, we will be discussing the first example of our hyperbola. Okay, it is one of our conic sections, the hyperbola. But first, before we solve our first example, these are the things you need to know in our hyperbola. So let us discuss first our table. So let A is greater than zero and B is greater than zero and c is equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared. So, equation in the standard form. So, a squared over a, uh, x squared over a squared minus y squared over b squared is equal to 1. And y squared over a squared minus x squared over b squared is equal to 1. Notice that our x and y are interchanged. So, if you encounter this kind of equation, our center automatically is 0, 0. And for the transverse axis, so for our transverse, it is a horizontal, then length to A. Then in this case, we have the vertical, length to A. And for the conjugate, we have the vertical, length to B, and horizontal, length to B. So they are perpendicular transverse and the conjugate. For the vertices, for the vertex sub 1, negative a0, and vertex sub 2, positive a0. And in this case, we have 0, negative a, and vertex 2, 0, a. And our focus, we have two focus, a cosine, so focus sub 1 and the focus sub 2, negative c0, and C zero. And of course we have the positive and negative C here. For the asymptote, we need to draw a rectangle that is A units, this A, A units away from the center and B units away from the center. So we're going to discuss that in here. So we're going to draw the rectangle here that is A units away from the center and B units away from the center. And the equation of the asymptote, positive negative b over a, x, and positive negative a over b, x. So these are the things you need to know. Then, if you notice that your equation is in this form, therefore, the graph must be like this one. And... If your equation is like this one, then expect that your graph will be like this. Now, to further understand, let's have our first example. x squared over 25 minus y squared over 9 is equal to 1. So first step, find the values for a, b, and c. So this is our a. So a squared is equal to... 25. So get the square root. So our a is 5. Next, b. b squared is equal to 9. Extract the square root. So b is equal to 3. Okay. Now for c. c is equal to square root of we have a squared Okay, 25 plus is our b squared 9. Square root of 25 plus 9, this is 36. So our c is 6. Okay. Now we have values for a, b, and c. We're now ready to get the center for side vertices. So analyzing our given, so automatically our center is 0, 0. So, in this form. Okay. x squared, x squared minus y squared, y squared, then we have the a and b. So. And the foci, okay, just follow our foci. For the 
f sub 1, so we have two foci for our f sub 1, we have negative c0. So 6 is our c, so negative 6, 0. And for the foci sub 2, focus sub 2, we have c0. Our c is 6, so 6, 0. Okay. Next, vertices. We have vertex sub 1 and vertex sub 2. Again, follow our vertex, negative a0. So our a is 5, so negative 5, 0. And for the second vertex, a0, so positive 5, 0. Now, the asymptotes. So, number four. So, we're looking for the equation of asymptote. So, equation of asymptote. So, we have y is equal to, we have positive, negative. Our b is 3 over our a is 5x. It is our equation of the asymptote. This must be equation of the asymptote. Equation of asymptote. Now we're ready to graph. And now for our graph, let us first locate our center, foci, and vertices. So our center is 0, 0. So it's here. Center. Next. The foci, we have the f sub 1 and f sub 2. For the f sub 1, we have negative 6, 0. So negative 6, 0. So it's here. For the f sub 2, we have 6, 0. 6, 0. And for the vertices, so focus 1, f 2. For the vertices, Vertices, we have negative 5, 0, negative 5, 0, this, is, this will be our V1, V sub 1, and 5, 0 will be our V sub 2. Okay, now, for the asymptote, we're going to draw a rectangle 5 units away from C, 5 units, so A, A units away from C, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So other points here. Then 3 units, B, 3 units away from C. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. So the point of our rectangle is located here. Now let us create a rectangle. Okay, this will be our rectangle. Now we can get we can get the line of our asymptote. So endpoint is connect. It will pass through the center. Okay. And the other one. So this will be our line. Notice that we have positive negative 3 over 5. So y, the positive, is 3 over 5x. And for the negative, y is equal to negative 3 over 5x. So the slope of this is negative, and this one is positive. Now what is our hyperbola? So just create a curve. This will be our hyperbola. 
and the other one here. So this will be the hyperbola. So we have in this form. Okay, that's on how to find the center focus vertices asymptote and of course the equation of the asymptote. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV and see you in our second example, the hyperbola.